Hi, my name is Stephen McGee, and I am the author of Solar Radiation, Global Warming, and Human Disease. And we're going to talk about how to assess your home environment for unnatural electromagnetic fields. And it is as easy as buying some houseplants. And this particular houseplant is the one that you want. It's called the Diphon back here. And it has very, very large patterned leaves. As you can see, this is a particularly excellent specimen. And it has leaves the size of your hand. So that's what it looked like when I bought it. And there's another very nice large patterned leaf. Now the new, new growth that's coming up on this is much smaller, but still has the patterning. And this plant has actually been in the house for quite some time. But the great thing about this plant is if the new growth is coming up, and it's significantly different from the way the plant should grow normally, you know you've got electromagnetic radiation problems in the home. And if you put lots of these plants around your home and watch them, the plants that don't grow right indicate the areas of your home where you've got problems. And many, many homes have biologically unnatural electromagnetic fields in them today. And these fields, they come from a lot of places, but stuff like your household cables in the wall can radiate unnatural electromagnetic fields into your environment. And wireless computer networking can do it. So you need to be very, very careful with Wi-Fi radiation and the products that you buy, because some of the products that you buy also emit very strange fields and digital televisions are one of those products. So this is another one that I have. So you can see, again, it's got the very large leaf and the new growth coming up is somewhat smaller. So this plant is in the process of changing its growth to match the fields of this house. And you put these around your home, all over the home, you'll actually realize that your home is actually filled with lots of different fields by the different growth patterns that you'll see occurring in these plants. And I'm currently assessing this room to see if it's got biologically harmful fields in it. And I don't think it has because this room we identified quite some time ago that this room has very, very good sleep patterns associated with it. So if you actually sleep in this bed, you feel really great in the morning. So it's actually the best room in the house to sleep in. So this is probably the best room in the house to actually grow one of these plants. And that's evidenced by the fact that the new growth coming up is it's a little bit smaller, but it's still got the heavily patterned leaves associated with it. And one of the things that's characteristic with this plant when you grow it in unnatural fields is that the leaves lose their patterning and they just grow dark and shiny and somewhat miniature, the tiny the leaves that come up if it's in a natural electromagnetic field. So that's one of the new leaves that's coming up. So that's the diaphragm back here for you and using it to assess your home for harmful electromagnetic fields. So I hope you enjoyed this presentation. If you want to find out more about the subject of plant growth defects around unnatural electromagnetic fields, you'll find it in this book. It's called Solar Radiation global warming and human disease. Hope you enjoyed the presentation and I wish you the very best of health. Thank you.